After nearly 10 years of waiting, NCAA football fans will finally see the return of the beloved NCAA football franchise, now titled EA Sports College Football, in the summer of 2023. Thanks to the NCAA now allowing players to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness, EA Sports can resume one of their most popular franchises without the risk of lawsuits. And while information surrounding the game hasn't been too out in the open yet, there's been many publications that have been able to uncover some things that are confirmed by EA Sports to be in the game. EA Sports has been working on the game for nearly three years now, and they'll be officially releasing more news and footage as we get closer to next summer, but for now, here are 10 confirmed features for the upcoming college football video game. Dynasty Mode the most popular mode in the NCAA football franchise. This is a mode that is still played heavily today by people who are still playing and updating NCAA 14, one of the greatest football video games of all time. This is basically NCAA's version of franchise mode in Madden, but it was always way better and offered more depth, especially in the later years of the franchise, where Madden's franchise mode at the same time started losing features and became pretty stale. Dynasty Mode allows you to take over your favorite college football program and build them into a powerhouse. You're the coach, you're the recruiter, you're the owner of the whole operation. You build your team, you practice with players, you recruit players, you bring players in, you try to transfer players in and out. You can control the prices of things at the stadium and everything in between. Some people were worried that these modes would not be making a return in the new college football game, but they have been confirmed to be in the game. Now, to what extent that we don't know yet? Is it gonna be as in depth as NCAA 14? Well, football gaming fans are certainly certainly hoping for that, but with EA, you never know for sure. All we know is that the mode will be in the game. Really quickly, if you want to stay up to date every step of the way with all of the news surrounding this game, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those videos. We're going to be getting a lot of news in the next few months leading up to the release, and you're not going to want to miss it. Road to Glory, the other big mode for NCAA football games. If you aren't playing Dynasty, you're probably playing Road to Glory, which is one of the best career modes in pretty much any football game. I always thought it was better than even the better career modes that Madden had back in the day on PlayStation 2. Road to Glory just felt a little bit more authentic. You start in high school, you go through your high school career, you build your player up, then you become recruited by a bunch of the top colleges, hopefully if you had a good high school career. You can opt to go to the big school where it might be a little bit harder to crack the starting roster out of the gate, or you can sign on to a smaller school and try to help bring them relevance. You play your way through your college career, you of course try to win national championships you try to win the Heisman Trophy and then you would port your player over to Madden and then continue on there and with the new name image and likeness standards that the NCAA has I would imagine this is going to be incorporated into the road to glory mode which could be really cool if your player becomes a certain level maybe he can get endorsements and start earning some money I think that would be a cool touch on the mode and I have to think that EA would be looking to do that because the game literally could not exist right now with real players with without the name, image, and likeness rules changing. So the fact that those have changed, I would really hope that they would be incorporating that into the road to glory mode because it just kind of goes hand in hand. School traditions. This is another really big thing that has been talked about for the upcoming NCAA football game. EA has been working very hard over the last few years from what we know, acquiring a bunch of images, school songs, crowd chants, and more because one of the things that makes NCAA football games special is the environment, the atmosphere, much more so than it does for Madden. They want to have the proper chance, especially during certain parts of the game where certain schools have certain chants or they play certain songs or they have certain traditions. They want every stadium to be authentic and look exactly like it does in real life. They want the environment to mimic real life. And this has been one of the biggest things we've heard about the game that they've spent a lot of time working on. It's a lot of assets required. It's a lot of time and commitment to go out and make sure you're getting these for every single football program. So this is one thing I'm definitely looking forward to. And I think a lot of fans are as well. ESPN. Unlike in the Madden games, the ESPN license will be used in the NCAA games just like they were in the past. Now, from what I've heard, the reasons they're not actively using them in the Madden games is because other networks get annoyed if they're using ESPN and not their networks. And that's just kind of been something Madden has had to deal with, dealing with the NFL and some of these other companies. They like to kind of bicker and get picky over things that are in the game. But when you look at the NCAA franchise, they don't have to worry about any of that. And it gives them a lot more freedom to do cooler stuff like using the ESPN. 
ESPN license. They're also going to be using the ESPN commentators. We don't know who that has not been confirmed yet, but the rumor is that they're going to be using the leading crew of Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet. That would make the most sense. It would give everything more of a big game feel, and they might even rotate commentary crews. Obviously, they haven't done that with Madden, but this could be something they look to do with the NCAA game. The Madden engine. This is probably the first thing on this list that most people are not happy to hear about. The game is being built using the Madden engine, but that shouldn't be a surprise because every NCAA game in the past was also built this way. It was built off of Madden, and while people preferred NCAA's gameplay to Madden's, both gameplays were always very, very similar because they were built off of the same base game. I think people feel as though NCAA played better because it typically was a little bit of a faster playing game. The animations played out a little bit faster because college football typically is going to feel like more of a fast paced game versus the NFL and the fast players in college seem to feel faster than the fast players in the NFL because everybody in the NFL is pretty fast compared to college where the top end athletes really can stand out more and they can separate much easier. But yes, it is being built off the current Madden engine, which is using Frostbite. This probably means that things like the new field sense that was implemented this year will also be implemented for NCAA, which is not a bad thing because field sense has actually made Madden's gameplay better than it was in the past. It's still far from perfect, but it's definitely a step up. They might also use superstar and X factor abilities because if they're using it in Madden, I don't know why they wouldn't go ahead and use it in NCAA as well. But yes, it is going to be built off the Madden engine. But one thing that NCAA has going for it that Madden does not is that they've actually had plenty of time to work on the NCAA game, whereas Madden at this point has to come out every year. And that puts a lot of stress on the devs to actually put out a polished game every year, no matter how hard they try. Games really should not be releasing every year anymore, but they still are. With NCAA, they might still release that game every year, but the first iteration of the game is going to be three years in development by the time it comes out, which gives them plenty of time to make sure the game releases in a better state than Madden typically does. So even if it is being built off of the Madden engine, which has given us a lot of bugs with the Madden game, they have time to work on this. And also most of the developers that are working on NCAA used to work on Madden. The people working on Madden now are not the typical Madden crew outside of a few guys, which could explain why Madden has been a lot more buggy over the past two years because a lot of those people are working on NCAA now. And that's where the big focus is because this is the next big game that's coming out and they have to make sure it comes out right. So while it is on the Madden engine, it could actually perform better than Madden just given the fact that it's getting more time and attention to iron everything out. All FBS teams. This is something that's been confirmed. They said they plan to have all FBS schools in the game with most of the active players with their name, image, and likeness. They said there will be obviously some created players on the teams because they can't possibly get every single player in college football. It's just way too many players, but they're going to have most of the important players and every school. That is the goal right now. But it's also been said that they're trying to get the FCS and HBU schools as well. And some of these programs have really been coming up over the years and people would like to see them in the game. So while it's not confirmed that they're going to have every single school, it's looking like they're aiming to do as many as possible, all of the ones you would expect, and then some of the extra ones that they're able to get. And we've already heard rumors that they're working out deals with some of these schools. Ultimate team. I know the typical NCAA fan might not like to hear this because they think that could be bad news for the game, but you have to remember NCAA 14 also had ultimate team, and it was one of the best football games of all time. Most of the news we've heard surrounding this game has been about Dynasty Road to Glory and the atmosphere, all the things that we want to hear about. We have not really heard anything about Ultimate Team other than it's very likely that it's going to be in the game, but seeing as it was in NCAA 14, there's really no reason to think that it wasn't going to be here. Just because it's in the game does not mean the rest of the game has to suffer. Ideally, we would have a game that has a great offline and a great online, and that would make an amazing game. Team-specific playbooks. One of the biggest things about the NCAA games was just how diverse the playbooks were, much more so than Madden. You had tons of different things you can run, and you had all of these teams that were notorious for having some of these crazy offenses like the Navy with their triple option offense. And because it was there in the older NCAA games, I don't see why it wouldn't be there with the return. You can't bring back NCAA and have generic or bland playbooks. That just is not going to work. The transfer portal. 
Some people were wondering if this was going to be in the game or not. Now, the transfer portal, I believe, was in NCAA 14, but the transfer portal has changed much over the years. It's a much bigger thing now. It has much more movement than it ever had in the past, and people were wondering if this feature was going to return because just because Dynasty mode is returning doesn't mean every feature is going to return. We know that with Madden. We're still missing some of the features from the PS2 days, but it has been said that the transfer portal is going to be in the game, and it should be a very in-depth experience from what we've heard, but again we kind of have to wait and see but just the fact that it's going to be there is good news it means it doesn't look like they're stripping away features it looks like they're going to at least give us back most of what we already had in the older game the 12 team college football playoff now while this isn't going into effect until 2026 the ncaa is trying to move it up to 2024 but even with that said ea is trying to get this in the game for the release next year even though this won't be an official thing in the ncaa yet it should be available in the game so you'll have the option of if you want to play the 12 team playoff or probably the current 14 playoff but the fact that they're thinking a little bit ahead actually makes me happy that they're not waiting until this goes into effect they're going to give you the option to do it now which means they're trying to give you more than they technically have to give us right now and with ea sports just hearing that it almost sounds unbelievable but it's definitely a good thing if you enjoyed this video you'll definitely like this video right here where i scored a touchdown in every single ncaa football game ever made